The topic for this year's seminars is search base for success. And I'll explain to you what I mean by search base. Look, what I'm holding up right now, this is a spinner. How many of you use spinners? I use spinners all the time. As a matter of fact, they're one of the oldest lures. They probably go back about 70 years. So a lot of people don't use inline spinners anymore because they're spinner baits and all kinds of other lures on the market, soft plastic and hard plastic. This is a Vibrex number four, and it's a little bit different than other spinners because it has a bell and a gear inside. So when the water goes through it, that bell and gear rattle and shake and make a lot of noise. The advantage of using a spinner is that you can cover a lot of water. So in fact, this is an old school search bait. So I'm just going to demonstrate it. If I want to fish right along the surface, let's say I'm in shallow water, or there's weeds growing up on the surface, I can retrieve it quickly, and I can fish it just below the surface. If I want to fish down, and let's use our imagination, and say that this tank is 20 feet deep, and I don't know if the fish are suspended or near the bottom, just by pausing two or three seconds, I can let that spinner go down in the mid part of the water column. So let's say now it's about 10 feet down. You saw that I got some interest there. I saw the follows. If I want to fish it right along the bottom, even in 20, 30 feet of water, I let it sink deep, and I do something called slow rolling, where I retrieve it very slowly, and it's going near the bottom. Do you know how hard it is for me not to hook those fish? I can see what's going on. They're going for that spinner. So what I mean by search bait is a lure that you can fish in different depths of the water column, pretty well in open water or above weeds. It's, they're not weedless lures, but they're lures that you can use to cover water to tell you if the fish are there or not. Does anybody here use a buzz bait, a top water lure for bass or pike? Buzz baits are great lures, they're search baits. So if you're fishing a big bay, let's say a bay as big as this hall or even bigger, and you've got a feeling there's bass somewhere, but everything is the same. Same water depth, little lily pads here and there, and weeds all over. You're gonna cast that buzz bait to see if you get an active fish to hit. You may not fish the buzz bait all day long, because you may get one bass to come up and hit it. Now you know where they are. And if you keep casting for another 10, 15 minutes and you don't get a fish on a buzz bait, don't leave. That buzz bait worked. It showed you where at least one bass are, and there's a good chance there's more. So now you change to a slower presentation, like a plastic worm, a spinner bait, a twitch bait, either soft plastic or hot body, and you try to figure out whether the fish are feeding or whether you gotta make them strike. So this is an old school search bait, a spinner, and it works really well, especially for trout because they like the flash.